right now I'm separating out my tomatoes. They've kind of grown pretty tall, but they're going to be fine. The cool thing with tomatoes is that you can plant down two thirds of the plant and they're just going to start sprouting roots off the sides here. This here is regular beefsteak tomato, and I also have a pink beefsteak tomato, which I saved from a friend's tomato. Hi, kitty. What are you doing? The beefsteaks are indeterminate, and I'll get to explaining that in a moment. We have some tiger stripe cherry tomato, which is indeterminate as well. Regular cherries. And then I have some Roma tomatoes and some Rudiger tomatoes, which are determinate. These are going to be my canning tomatoes. So determinate tomatoes basically grow to a determined size. They don't need to have like a giant steak. Most of them only get about four to five feet tall. They tend to ripen all their tomatoes at once and then the plant is done. You can pluck it out and put something else in it. That's why the Romas and the Rudigers they have are determinate. Those are going to be my canning tomatoes because I'm going to have so many tomatoes at once that I'm going to process them all together. My cherries and my beefsteaks are indeterminate. Basically, they don't have like a determined size that they're gonna grow. They're gonna grow as tall as you let it grow. I recommend having a big, big uh, support system for these. They're also going to continue growing tomatoes as they grow up. So you're just gonna have like a continual gentle harvest of tomatoes. They're great for slicing or snacking throughout the whole entire season. All right, let me divide my tomatoes up into two trays. One to plant today and then the other one probably next weekend, just in case we have a frost. Nice and separated. Let me stick one in the greenhouse and the other one will go a little further out. Okay, we're gonna start planting tomatoes. And we're gonna start off in this bed. We're gonna put a row in the middle here and it's gonna be wide enough for us to stick peppers on the side and then some little smaller things like lettuce or herbs over here. are tiger cherry indeterminate so they're gonna grow as tall as we let them grow and then we're gonna plant them three feet apart so that they're not overcrowded and you can see here how deep I'm putting it I'm literally bearing two-thirds of it they're just gonna shoot out roots off the sides make sure that when you plant your tomatoes that you put a stake in I like to use the bamboo stakes or tea posts not a big fan of the tomato cages because with indeterminate tomatoes, they tend to outgrow their cages really quick. Proper them pretty close. And then I'm only going to let the indeterminate tomatoes grow on one straight stem. Six, seven, eight, eight and a half. <laughs> I think you need more water, Andrew. Bring more fish poo. Bring me the poo. Tiger cherries are done. Got four of them in. Air five. Shoo. Let's see what else we have. We got some more indeterminate cherry tomatoes. Just some classic old salad cherries. And I don't know why I have four growing in there. I'm going to see if I can split them and salvage them. Okay, we'll do three more in this bed and then we'll move to another bed. One tomato plant. Two. 
three, four, eight. I think we have eight in this bed here. Our cherry tomato bed. We'll plant some more maybe on Sunday or the next clear day that we have. And we're just going to fill up the middle of the beds with tomatoes and of course we'll squeeze peppers and herbs on the sides of them. We're back out here today and I'm going to be planting the rest of my tomatoes. I just have some beef steaks left. Some pink beef steaks from seeds that I saved last year and then some regular beef steaks. Grab my can and some fish poo and water these bad boys. We got our cherry bed right here. Here's our beef steak bed. And then I separated our little Roma and Rudiger tomatoes. These ones, once they make their tomatoes, you just pluck them out and plant something else. So I separated it for that reason. So that is half of our tomatoes right now. I still have another half to do. Here's the rest of them. We'll plan them out around the beginning of May. All right guys, stay tuned. We're gonna start planting the peppers um, in the same beds as the tomatoes. And then we're probably gonna start planting out these beautiful lettuces and carrots. 